hi guys welcome back to the channel i welcome you to my new amazing tutorial in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make a voice assistant using html css and javascript and for response to our queries we are going to use responsevoice.org website in this website we are going to use api of this website for response so here you can see that we have a script like this script tag we have to paste it in our code so and here you can see that the unique key is appearing here the key equal to unique key that unique key will be given to you when you sign it here so when you sign it you will get the unique key so let's get start with the project so how our project is going to work we'll see so here we have a beautiful div and in this div we have a voice assistant heading I want to click the button and say something so let's click the button and let's try hello hello how are you so let's try another query tell me about weather the weather is sunny and warm what is the time right now the time is 12.56 p.m. So you can see that it's responding properly. What is the date today? The date is the 7th so of January 2024. So you can see that it's responding correctly. You can see that the date here and the time down. So if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe us. So in HTML file, we have linked our font awesome for this icon mic icon you can see that for that we have a font awesome link and then we have linked our poppins font family for this font family you can see that for our heading tag then we have a linked our style.css then we have a title voice assistant which you can see here. now we have a div with class container in this div we have a h1 tag voice assistant Welcome. and then we have paragraph click the button and say something and then we have a button with class button and in this we have icon microphone voice then assistant we have input type text and class text and that in that we have a, your query will appear here so whatever we ask that will appear in this input box here we have linked the script of responsevoice.org and then we have linked our script.js file so come to the css file in css file we have a body tag in this body tag we have a margin and padding 0 height 100 bh and display flex then a line item center and justify content center then a background linear gradient and a font family poppies and sensory then for the container class which you can see here the class container so for that we have width 80 percent maximum width 600 pixel and a border radius 20 pixel and we have beautiful box head and background for our container and padding 20 pixel and text align center for this beautiful container then for the button we have a width 100 pixel and height 100 pixel then we have a border radius 50 percent and then border none outline and cursor pointer points and 40 pixel and a color and background and a box shadow and transition for our this this beautiful mic button so you can see here now for the hovering we have a scale 1.1 to our button so when you hover on it see our button get a scale to 1.1 and when our button is active means our mic is listening to our speech that time our scale is 0.9 for the text that will appear when we speech that will be appearing in the input that with hand 80 percent and margin 20 pixel and auto and a border none outline none padding 10 pixel font size 20 pixel and a border bottom so you can style according to your needs so come to our javascript file here is the main logic 
for our voice assistant so for age code i have written this comments to understand each line of code so first of all we are selecting this button so that button that this button is the mic button and this mic button we have selected in our javascript variable then we have selected the text that will input to our input box when we speech and then we have a variable recognition in this whatever user will speech that will recognize by our webkit speech recognition function so it is inbuilt function in javascript for recognizing the speech then we have a set the language to english then we have a recognizes continuous call to false means stop listening after one utterance means if user is not speaking continuously means if if he or she stops for the some time and then he start speaking it will not listen so you have to speak continuously then we have a interim results false so don't show the interim results then we have a when the button is click start listening so for that we have a add event listener in this we have a click event and the function is recognition dot start it will start recognition then when the recognition need the stop listening so in this function we have written recognition dot stop then we have when recognition return a result then display it and speak to a response so when our speech will be recognized it will show in this input box your query will appear right there and speak a response so then according to our query response will come so for that response we have here written some if else condition so before that we'll see here so whatever user will speak that will get transcripted in this query variable this query whatever the user will speak that will be stored in query and that query will be equal to text dot value that initially response is mpt so so we have written nothing here just a double quotation then we have used the conditional statement to execute different commands based on our query so we have a if condition and our query will convert it to first to lower case and in that query if hello what's includes then it will response this hello how are you then if our query includes time then it will show that time so the response in response we have the time in hours minutes and it's am or pm so for that we have written this some calculation and we have first of all we have getting the current date the today date and time that from that we are convert getting the hours then minute then am pm if greater than equal to 12 it will show pm otherwise am and that we are converting to hours so like that we are is converting the hours and minute and we are going to display in this response so similarly in another if else condition if our query include date so if a user ask the date in that it will display the date so how it will display that first of all we will get the current date then from the current date we will get the day and month and year and that will display in this response if our query includes weather then it will response a dummy response not the real time response so for the real time response we have to use api key the open weather api for that real response but we have just use dummy data here and for another real condition if user query include juke 
joke and then it will give this response then if any of the condition does not match means default response will be sorry i am unable to answer this so whatever the response in every condition we have mentioned that response will speak by using response voice api so here i have mentioned each line with this comment use the response voice api to speak the response so using response voice api the response will be spoken so hope you guys like the video subscribe the channel and don't forget to share with your friends so thanks for watching we'll meet in next video with a new amazing project so i'll give the link of the project source code in our description and on our github you can give a star on our project and you can share with your friends if you like the video and thank you